is not the many, the one is not the few. The one is not a whole or part, I thought, my friend, you knew. The one has no beginning, nor a middle, nor an end. It's neither part or whole on which its parts it would depend. It's limitless, it's boundless, it has no shape or form, nor center that it looks to, nor edges to adorn. It cannot have location either outside or within, and that, my friend, is not because it doesn't have a skin. The one it cannot move around, for that would be a change. It cannot even spin in space, a thought that might seem strange. The fact it can transform itself might cause to make you frightened. How can you be illumined when already you're enlightened? It cannot be the same at all, nor other than the other. When I went off to bed last night, I told this to my mother, and she replied, If so, my son, let me and brief explain. The one cannot be same with self or other that you name. A rose it is, a rose it is, a rose since I was young. And so it is, the one can be none other than the one. And there is not the equal, nor no measure to compare. Equality cannot exist, it is not even rare. The one cannot exist if it was struck with Father Time. And so at last unto the truth it seems we must resign. Yes, one is like the circle as philosophy can find. The one just like the perfect circle lives within your mind. The one is not, it never was, nor ever could it be. But if the one is not at all, then neither friend are we. The world is just a porridge, a coagulated stew. When one is not, then fantasies are all we ever knew. Yet if one would reveal itself, it must conjoin with being, much like the eye that needs the pen upon a light for seeing. Then one and being joined together make a whole with power. So two in one, and one make three, and so the journey starts. The one now has an ending, it has middle, it begins. Though limited, still limitless, it seems it all depends. The one is not now formless, it conforms to thick or thin. It also has locations that are outside and within. The one is very social, yes, it's other and the same, and more and less than every other player in the game. It's more and less and up and down and equal to the equal. It's prologue and it's epilogue and sequel to the sequel. The one now has affections for both one and all the rest. It's higher than, and lower than, and better than the best. It grows in both directions, getting old and getting young, until it goes full circle and beholds the midnight sun. Well, age is not a problem now, it is the friend of time. Both Alpha and Omega lie within the great design. What started is continuing and on until the last, of which I hear it's going to be a really great big blast. 
The cycle of beginning circles round unto destruction. What's joined in one must come apart to serve another function. And so this wood from whence it rose again at last shall fall. That pilgrims on the path to light might be enriched in all. Now God appeared to Zarathustra, shining in the sun, to Moses in the burning bush, as being that is one. Come, lead my people out of Egypt, take them by the hand, and guide them even through the desert to the promised land. From Samuel it came again, to David it was true. It was a message come from God through heaven unto you. Then Jesus loud announced, and so the proclamation ran. I am the very one who is, I am the great I am. Now each of us has been, yes, and each of us is one, and all of us are children born beneath the blessed sun. So each of us has something, friend, unique in all of time. Then let us seek to find a way to let our oneness shine. So we learn to fly, dum da dum da dum da dum, upward to the sky, soaring like the eagle then, and lifted up by love, until we reach the kingdom of the sun that shines above. Da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum.